St. Joseph's College, founded in 1882 by a band of French missionary fathers, has a long and glorious history. Many illustrious personages have visited here and many others have visited the campus and interacted with our students. Known for its gold standard in education, the college has had at its helm exceptional principals and dedicated staff who have believed in imparting an academic as well as a moral education. With the grace of the Almighty, we began the year with excellent enrollment, taking the total student strength to over 2,600. It is a matter of pride that we have 46 foreign students studying here, from a total of seven countries, as far flung as Ivory Coast and as near as neighboring Bangladesh and Afghanistan. We have also been able to significantly augment and enhance the college infrastructure. A fourth floor has been added to the humanities block, housing five classrooms and two staff rooms. The new additions in the PG campus comprise three new laboratories, three classrooms and a mini hall. The piece de resistance is, however, our new auditorium with a seating capacity of 1,100 and four seminar rooms that can seat over a hundred each. A new plant taxonomy and research laboratory was inaugurated on February 1st, 2014 by renowned plant taxonomist Dr. R. R. Rao, former joint director of BSI Kolkata. The Department of Microbiology, founded in 1988 by late Reverend Father Joseph Nilapati, under the guidance of the faculty of the Botany Department, celebrated its 25th anniversary this year. The Department of Social Work, founded by the former principal, Father Dr. Ambrose Pinto, with its mission to prepare social work practitioners skilled in critical self-reflection and critical inquiry, will enter its decennial year in the academic year 2014-2015. The theme for the decennial year has been chosen as envisioning alternatives. The PG Political Science Department organized an international seminar on shaping the security architecture in Southeast and East Asia 
Indo-Pacific as Look East 3.0 on September 10th and 11th, 2013. The Department of Mass Communication organized MediaCon, a national conference on media ethics and social responsibility on November 29th and 30th, 2013. 24 research papers were presented by scholars from different parts of the country. The Department of Chemistry has been recognized as the research center by Kuvempo University. This department has already been recognized as research center by Bangalore and Manipal universities. St. Joseph's alumni, which include distinguished names like the writer Kenneth Anderson, Justice Santosh Egde, social activist Dr. Sunita Krishnan, and Sri Sri Ravi Shankar had a reunion this year on the 27th of October, when over 500 of them gathered under the banyan tree to reconnect and revive the nostalgia. St. Joseph's College has always been rated as one of the top colleges in India by all national surveys and acknowledged as a center of excellence for the study of the sciences, humanities and the social sciences. The college has been able to build up and enhance its excellent record for academic endeavors in the year 2013-2014. This year, our highly committed staff have bagged five major and 12 minor research projects from UGC and ICSSR. Such outstanding research is complemented by the vast number of publications that several staff members have to their credit. A total of 27 papers have been published from the Humanities section and 26 papers published by the Science Faculty in peer-reviewed nationally and internationally reputed academic journals. Padma Baliga of the English department successfully defended her thesis and earned her doctoral degree. Mamata Gauda of Microbiology and Sister Amita of Social Work have cleared their NET this year. Quite a few of our senior faculty members guide PhD students in addition to their teaching duties. This year, students working under Dr. Som Shekharaya and Dr. Michael Rajamati of the Chemistry Department and Dr. Purushottama KB and Dr. Bopaya AK of the Botany Department have been awarded their doctoral degrees. The Department of Chemistry organized a distinguished lecture series by eminent scientists. The Mathematics and Computer Science Departments organized a number of talks by academicians and industry experts on seminal topics, photos. The PG Political Science Department successfully planned and implemented an unmatched year-long distinguished lecture series featuring 18 illustrious speakers. The Economics Department also collaborated with the Department of Sociology to organize the Josephite Conclave at which students presented papers on the prospects and challenges related to tourism in India and the neighboring countries. At the Department of Social Work, field education, where the classroom and the field integrate, is the signature pedagogy. Students began with an integrative fieldwork seminar and then participated in experiential and integrative learning in affiliated community organizations. The Department of English has undertaken wide-ranging changes in their PG curriculum as well as their additional English syllabus. They have introduced two new courses, Optional English and Writing for Journalism, as part of the new BA EJP course. A special achievement is that several of our undergraduate and postgraduate students have also presented papers at various national and international seminars and many have been successful in publishing their work. 
Uzma J. D'Souza from the Electrochemistry Research Group was awarded the Best Oral Presentation Award for her paper at the National Conference organized by Bharatiya University, Coimbatore. Nandini of 3rd HEP, who is visually challenged, acted in the Tamil film Kukku, which was directed by Raja Murugam and produced by Fox Star Studio. Three NCC cadets, Cadet Senior Under Officer James Yep Tomi, CSM Rasing Muinao, and Cadet Junior Under Officer Karete were selected for the annual All India Tal Sainik Camp. Cadet Senior Under Officer James Yep Tomi brought further laurels to the college by taking part in the Republic Day Camp held in Delhi. Irshad Hussain of 1st EPS, who is physically challenged, won the first and second prizes in the men's EP and foil events at the National Wheelchair Fencing Championship held in July 2013. Prantik Vivek Deshmukh of 3rd BVC won a Government of India National Students Film Award in 2013 for his film entitled Autumn of Life. We are proud of our achievers and we congratulate them. began the year with the Igniters program, a three-day integral formation program organized by the campus ministry with the help of Jesuit youth ministry. Bernie at Bionakshya, organized by Green Jean Guild, Gokul Kumar and Edward Patrick displayed the biodiesel they have developed from used oil sources from across the country. Rendezvous, the French Association, hosted the annual intercollegiate French fest, Découvrir la France. The Josephite Media Forum inaugurated the JMF Debating Society, which organized four interdepartmental panel debates on issues ranging from relevance of religion to corporatization of media. They also organized a digital film festival. The Literary Society organized a series of interdisciplinary conversations under the title Thursday Corsari and a special program to commemorate the anniversary of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. They also organized the second edition of Meta, the Josephite Festival of Literature, from February 4th to the 13th in 2014 around the theme of memory. One of the highlights of the multicultural atmosphere and orientation of the college is the Northeast and Tibetan Students Forum. The students showcased their varied and diverse culture at the annual cultural exhibition in December. February also saw the colorful and dazzling seventh edition of Footprints, a Northeast dance, music, and cultural A hundred volunteers and a two-day cultural extravaganza describes the annual cultural fest of St. Joseph's College, Visages 2014. Apart from conducting AIDS awareness sessions, JAM 
observed International AIDS Awareness Day with a 10-kilometer run along with the Students' Council. Seasons Nature Club organized an ant walk on the greens of Coven Park by Mr. Sunil Kumar, an ant expert. Ego Forum and Social Zest together organized a field trip on August 9, 2013 to study the milk processing system at KMF and the working of the rural panchayat system. Spectrum organized a discourse on the polity of the Maldives, Sri Lanka and India on the 25th of June by Mr. Satya Murthy. Aditya Sondi, a practicing advocate at the Supreme Court of India, was invited to speak on Understanding Pakistan, a Social Political Perspective on August 13, 2013. To ensure a peaceful atmosphere in the campus and to provide a forum for those who are victimized to get redressed, the college has set up a sexual harassment complaints committee, an anti-ragging committee, a grievance cell and counselling services. The NSS or CSC observed the International Day Against Torture on June 26, 2013 and volunteered for a week at a rural exposure camp in Chitradurga. With the aim of aiding the disadvantaged, the college awards scholarships to the tune of 12 lakh rupees every year. Around 100 students benefit from the midday meal scheme on which the college invests 1.5 lakh rupees. A placement cell on campus invites industries and organizations to visit our college to conduct interviews and recruit suitable candidates for their organizations. Several students received job offers with excellent pay packages. A vast number of our students are absorbed by the industry even in uncertain economic times. St. Joseph's College has always been known for its sportsmanship and its several achievements in the sports arena. Several students brought laurels to the college by participating and winning in various tournaments and matches. On December 7th, Sports Day was celebrated with Mr. Ashish Ballal, hockey player extraordinaire and an alumnus of our college, declaring the sports meet open. So I declare the 131st annual athletic meet of the St. Joseph's College Autonomous Meet open. In Henry Ford's words, one of the greatest discoveries a man makes, one of his great surprises, is to find he can do what he was afraid he couldn't do. Every society needs good leaders to create a vision, to articulate the vision, passionately own the vision and relentlessly drive it to completion. We have had a successful year and we look forward to scaling greater heights. The many successes of this year have been made possible by the vision and support of the management and the principal father, Dr. Praveen Martis, the hard work of the teaching and the non-teaching faculty, the never-say-die spirit of the students whose infectious enthusiasm brightens up each day at the campus, and above all, the grace and blessings of the Almighty 
whom we implore to hold us forever in the palm of his hand.